of the Gentiles. Wait, 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 wait. It, it helps if people can hear you. Gotcha. That's a good idea. In fact, Moan, bring me my microphone. Good job, Moan. You will get one peasant tonight. You may retire. Ah! Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Gen Con. My name is Joe Goodman from Goodman Games. I am Jen Brinkman. We are all set up after two very long, hard days of setup, and we're here to talk to you about the booth, the new releases, and just kind of take a break from all the hard work. So much good stuff. So much good stuff. So, so much. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to walk you through this whole booth. It might take us 20, 30 minutes. There's a lot to talk about. But if you're here at Gen Con, we want you to actually come to the booth tomorrow when the exhibit hall opens um, at 10 o'clock for regular folks and 9 for VIGs if you happen to have that early pass. But either way, come and see us. That's what we're here about. And if you're not at Gen Con, you can watch this Twitch and get an idea about it. Cool. So we're just going to start walking. If you're on the stream and you have you know, questions you want us to ask us, you can chat us and we'll try to respond to it. We've got somebody monitoring the questions. First of all, we're in front of the Obelisks of Doom here at our famous booth. You can see behind us the Ziggurat and many other awesome things, which we'll walk you through in a sec. Here in the Obelisks, if you're new to DCC at the show, you can get the quick start rules for free. So feel free to swing by and grab one. Um, it's amazing how many people did this in 2019, so we're here prepared with a whole lot of copies for everybody who's new to the game. If you pick it up and you like the game, the show special is you can get the soft cover edition of the DCC Core Rulebook, and you can get it for only 10 bucks. That's a heck of a deal. It's normally $25. Is that a good deal, Jen? I, guys, I, I cannot believe the Dark Master is doing this. This entire book, as you know, it's the same exact contents as our hardcovers. Nearly 500 pages, 10 bucks. It's close to the print cost. So, and that's <laughs> before inflation. Next year it'll be $11, but this is a great time to come get one. <laughs> so, all right, so now let's talk through some of the other new releases. We're gonna wheel around here. We have a huge rack here of new releases. And uh, you know, Jen, I heard that somebody famous helped edit this new Lankmar release. Uh, Maybe you could tell people about Treachery in the Beggar City. You, you may have heard incorrectly because I was the one who edited it. Uh, You're famous to me. <laughs> so kind. Uh, for those of you waiting for more setting information from the world of Nawan, we give you the city of Tovilius. We have Treachery in the Beggar City, which is an awesome uh, adventure, kind of in a uh, Venetian-style, sinking Venetian-style city, as well as uh, more of your campaign information and the geography and really, 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 really cool, cool stuff. And there's and tons of new releases. You can see them all here. This is the new release table when you come by tomorrow. Some of you may remember the, sun, uh, the Sunless Garden, which was Brendan LaSalle's first DCC module many, many, many years ago. And by the way, folks, we're in an active exhibit hall where they're still setting it up. So you may see folks behind us setting up carpets and forklifts and stuff like that. Anyway, Sunless Garden, we have a Gen Con exclusive of the DCC adaptation of that original. We have the new screen. Actually, Jen, show them the screen. I don't know if you guys have seen the new banner yet, but... Uh, Here, I'll hold this side. Yeah. It is glorious! It is so awesome. I, I mean, so many people have said, oh, I want this as a poster. Well, this is about as close as we're going to get. Uh, as a bonus, it's a judge's screen. <laughs> and yeah, it, that, that, that was horrible, Vanna White. <laughs> no, that was pretty good, Vanna White. <laughs> so, guys, if you're here at the show, take the, elevator, or sorry, the escalator to the Westin, and that is where you'll find Doug's amazing new art on a huge banner. Um, and you can... Ah! Moan, back to the pit. He keeps doing this. <laughs> Don't you have, like, stuff to put away? Take inventory. <laughs> so, <laughs> Good help is hard to find. Sorry. I know. The Chaos Lords aren't what they used to be. Anyway. Is, is that number 102? Why, my goodness, Jen, it is number one. I, you know, I don't even think Moan can count that high, but it is number 102. <laughs> this is the latest ECC release. And by the way, this is literally straight from the printer. It arrived yesterday. So new as it can get. And as a reminder, number 100 is still not printed yet because it's long and complicated and has box set, yes, yeah, spinny things. But 101 and 102 are here. Who did write this one? Why? It's Mark Bruner. I hear he's a really good writer. <laughs> yes, yes. So there's tons of new stuff. You can also get, we talked about Linkmar. We have the new MCC module, Into the Glowing Depths, by Michael Curtis. Such a cool cover. It is such, and we, somebody said, you really should have put this in Glow in the Dark Ink, which I think is a great idea, and so I think we're going to do Glow in the Dark Ink on some sort of upcoming, right? definitely second printing, in some sort of upcoming MCC module. Awesome. We have the new Tales from the Magician's Skull, 
which has an awesome story about Decagna, Queen of Swords. Now, my wow. my challenge here is that I read all these stories like a year ago, and so you know when they you come don't remember out. Remember them? Why? Well, but some of them I do. Many of them I do. This one particular, she's without. I mean, can't kind of, She's like a female Conan, but an amazing new character. So we already have sequels planned for this character because those of us who read it a while ago love it. So check out check the Two out. Swords and Sorcery Fiction. That art is so evocative. Yeah, actually, yeah, I should mention, um, this is Ken Kelly, by the way. So, that is Ken Kelly? Yeah. yeah. Some of you guys know he passed away recently, um, but he's done a lot of awesome work, I mean, for many, many people, including us. Uh, so, yeah. That so, is so awesome. I had to, like, so this, <laughs> funny story, this story, he asked for a lot of visual reference on Decagna because he wanted to make sure he got her right. So she looks really good. Um, and she I looks love that. Like the perfect adaptation, I think, of, I hope, of what the, the author intended. Anyway, we have the Sunless Garden, a fifth edition version as well. So you can buy the blue 5e cover or the orange DCC cover. And that one was converted by Mahilo. It was, awesome. yes. Yeah, from Brendan's first DCC submission so long ago. That is so awesome. And for some of you guys who don't know, Brendan wrote this DCC, which is number 10. That is how Harley Stroh came across the DCC line. He saw this, the original in the stores, sent us an email, and that's how DCC number 17 came about, which was Harley's first published one. DCC number 17 also happens to be the first DCC that featured Doug Kovacs' art. So it's sort of a weird cosmic coincidence. Doug and Harley are in the same first DCC. Um, but then we have 5th edition fantasy number 21, which is another great one by Bill Fisher, The Cursed Crones of the Enchanted Grove. Um, so whether you're a 5e fan, fiction fan, DCC fan, there's a ton of new stuff. That is a great cover, too. Very Baba Yaga. Yes, it is. Yes. Love it. And then I think I mentioned free quick start rules, but also we have a free 5e adventure, the Sunken Temple of Set. If you're a fan of 5th edition or even Dark Tower with this is set, pick one of these up. They're free. And it's original content. Yeah, good point. Original content. Yep. So did I forget anything? I think that's it for the front here. For the front, yeah. So we can wheel around the back. Um, where is Moan when you need him? I sure wish there was somebody to help pick up this cord. Does anybody know if any Chaos Chords, I mean Chaos Lords, are available? Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently, dude. Maybe Molan's reading. <laughs> Molan, you can't read. You know that. <laughs> All right. So Molan will be here. Speaking of reading. Speaking of yeah. So Jen, I hear you found a couple books for us to sell. Uh, just a couple thousand. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Yes. Uh, you know, it's been three years since we did this last time, and. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we might have a few books for you. Yeah, a few. Uh, the culmination of many, many beloved trips to used bookstores uh, by a handful of us here at Goodman Games. Uh, we've put them together for you, and they're in no particular order this time. They're going to be a fluid inventory. It's going to be a new treasure hunt every time, and, you know, it just means you've got to come back and look for the next really cool thing that catches your eye. Yeah, there are literally thousands of pulp novels that we have here. All of them pulled from Appendix N names or sort of Appendix N adjacent names. And the majority of them are priced under $10. Yeah, we basically do a very small markup from what we pay for them. The way we get our inventory is a very sophisticated process of shopping. <laughs> we just love going to used bookstores. Oh, wait, awesome. Hey, look, it looks like Moan has found a fashion accessory, and he's being dressed by his minion. Um, <laughs> so this book's <laughs> being modeled by the mighty Moan. <laughs> Is, show us that dance again, Molan. Oh my this, <laughs> this is the. <laughs> so those of you who compete in our tournament, and there are slots still open. We left slots open at every time slot. The winning prize are these giant WWF-style wrestling belts, uh, and the winning team of Gong Farmers. Every everybody on the team actually gets one of these. So you definitely want to compete. It's a zero-level tournament, so it's easy to drop in. So if you're here at the show, swing by. We can get you in on a game. Tournament sessions are Tuesday at 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. and Friday at 9 a.m., 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. The finals will be held Saturday at 2. Perfect. It's like I've done these events or something. It is. Yes, maybe you have. <laughs> So, by the way, Jen has been preparing us for Gen Con for so long um, and did an amazing job of organizing the entire everything here. So part of the reason, all, yeah, so part of the reason everything is here and so well structured and put together and organized is because of Jen's hard work. So good job, Jen. It worked out great. I just realized Gen Con, Gen Con, yeah. No, no, no. Brinkmanomicon. Oh, right, Brinkmanomicon. Okay. Not Gen Con. Not Gen Con. Okay. 
So yeah, folks, come by, check out the books. They're amazing. We have so many. And like Jen said, when somebody buys one, we're going to grab another one randomly from the thousands under the booth there, and there'll be new ones every hour, so we put new stock out. And we say Appendix N because it's all by Appendix N authors. You yeah. might, might find new titles by these same authors. And Not actually, necessarily titles on Appendix N. And it's like Jen said, I mean, people, many of us have gone to use bookstores to buy the cemetery for the last three years because we haven't done this since 2019. It is a labor of love. Yeah, and first dibs went to Thorin over there, who's behind the camera. <laughs> a lot of us were like, my God, this is awesome. I don't have this particular one in my collection. <laughs> So nice. we have nice actually, man. <laughs> so <laughs> we've already bought up 50 or 100 of these as we came across cool finds that she had in her collection, but I didn't have in mine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I'm still finding, uh, yeah, someone just took another more cock. Yeah, so come and get it before the staff buys it all. Next up, we have t-shirts. So we have some new ones this year. Those of you who are here probably know we have a wizard van, which is amazing. Here we have our Gigi Joe wizard van shirt, which is here for you guys to pick up in limited supply as we have them and don't run out of sizes. We have also, yeah, so this, is this is great. You can see the ziggurat behind me. We have, I saw the ziggurat rise, our Gen Con shirt. We have, I love this one, the Spellburn and the Hot Wheels logo. I know this one. <laughs> yes. Some of you may have heard of a podcast. It's an awesome shirt. And then we have on the back here, we get a lot of requests for the original Adventures Reincarnated logo, kind of like the DCC line, but the OAR yes, line. We so we put that one on a shirt for those of you who like that line. So come pick up a shirt. They're here. I mean, we have a lot of them, but each size is as we have the size. So if we sell out a small or XL or whatever, it'll be gone for a while. So now we have some of the books. You've heard of Mutant Crawl Classics, so I'm not going to walk you through all of this, but if you're looking to pick up an adventure or one of the older titles, we have all those in stock. We have hard copy of the Judges Guild books, and these books are incredibly impressive. One of the advantages of coming to a con is when you look online, you can look at pictures. When you come to a con, you can touch and feel. So if you'd like to come and just flip through one of these $100 books, you're welcome to do so. If you want to actually see what the leather bound looks like, you're welcome to do so. These are things that you can do in person a little easier than doing them online. We have a collection of some of the historical annuals or program guides, as we call them. You're welcome to pick those up. We have a physically assembled version of the shelf file of holding, if you've always wondered what that would look like on your bookshelf. Ooh. Then most of the rest of this is back stock, so I'm not going to go into it in a lot of detail, but we have the full run of Tales from Magician's Skull, at least all those that are in print, full run of all the remaining 5th edition fantasy. About half of these are sold out, so we have what we have. And then we have Original Adventures Reincarnated, which is one of our most popular lines. We have number one through six in stock here. As some of you know, number seven will be Tark Tower, which recently did well on a Kickstarter, um, and then we have other ones coming out after that. In stock while the table lasts. Exactly. You can see the table is bowed slightly here, um, uh, but it's a rental. So anyway, and if you want to see what's inside Temple of Elemental Evil, you can flip through the books and check it out. And we get a nice close-up of our ziggurat from oh, here as well. Great reminder. I think Wayne did a wonderful job. Yeah, so Wayne Snyder is our secret weapon. He originally built the Doom Gong, however many years ago that was, then the obelisks. He did the banner. Uh, he brought the van. And now he's put together this amazing ziggurat, which has many secret rooms inside that we use for amazing... Go on, back to work. No, no. <laughs> working on it, working no. on it. Yeah, I know, drinking time. It's quitting time. And uh, yeah, the ziggurat looks amazing. Um, we have some other ideas for what to do on top of it. Some flames and stuff could be even cooler. Oh, that's right. It, it will be lit up during the day. Yeah, that's true, actually. We have LED lights as well. Yeah, cool. All right, so let's wheel around here and show folks some other new stuff. We have a lot of cool dice. Maybe we can show them some dice. Um, we'll do our best to walk in a way that doesn't tangle these cords. <laughs> There's a lot of cords. Try not to kill anybody. How are we doing chat comments? Anybody want to say something really insightful and evocative that gives us a good question? All right, so <laughs> we're going to wheel in this way, try to show you guys a few things. And by the way, if you didn't like your view of the, the books from that side, you can see them from this side now. There's so Look at the detail on our obelisk while you're here. Yeah. These are high-quality obelisks, people. Not like those low-quality obelisks you see out there. Oh, oh, I'm hearing technical I'm hearing direction. Technical direction. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go around we this. Suck. <laughs> we we, we want to see the good side of the obelisk. Let's show you the good side. This side is a, a ni slightly nicer patina. I really like this one. That's, it's a great seven one. Eyes. Yeah. Matches we go down here. Star of Thorner. Okay. Thorner is our key grip. That's a technical term for those who don't, aren't in the industry. <laughs> He's doing a great job. All right. We are making him work for it. Yeah. Hold <laughs> on. Why aren't you doing this? Oh, that Molon. Oh, he's slacking off. Uh, Can you go vacuum or something, Molon? Maybe dust a little bit? Uh, maybe vacuum after we're done recording. Good thinking, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe. Okay. So, folks, we have a ton of dice. 
Um, just a few sets. We have over sets. a dozen for you to choose from. We have six that are convention exclusives. Yes. Uh, our friend Tom from Impact Miniatures has yep. brought in some extra sets for us. Uh, you might find a couple of color combinations that you've been wanting to find that have been sold out on our website. Yeah. Uh, uh, Impact is amazing. They do awesome dice. We've traditionally packaged a lot of them in our special packaging and included new game content, etc. Tom's also provided some. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't have the same insert, but it's got just the dice, which is what most people want. Uh, for and uh, should have lots of stuff this for you guys. This is going to make some people super happy. We yeah. have some three-legged gowls we found. Yeah, some of these have been sold out for a while, and they turn up in the convention stash. The Hellcat. We have our... <laughs> Three uh, alignments of glow yes. dice. We've the glow dice are great. And chaotic. And somewhere I have a black light that will help illuminate that. Excellent. Excellent. That's awesome. That's awesome. awesome. Uh, I wanted to point out, we have a lot of third party stuff here that yeah. we yeah. haven't really touched on yet. Good point. Uh, but our friends have given us the uh, sarcasm series dice. The poison skulls. Poison skulls. That's what it was. Yes, they're they're beautiful, toxic green, as you can see displayed here. Uh, we also have the three D printed uh, dice, dice trays. Tray sets. Yeah, custom dice trays so for all the funky can dice. Put all of your funky dice in a row, and then of course all of our conventions. All the pretty, pretty, pretty colors. Yeah, no, it's awesome. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm being a magpie over here. I'll no, go it, away. No, 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 it is it is hard to resist. It looks great. Okay. And as we walk past here, make sure you get a shot of the spinner racks here. We have an amazing number of awesome adventure modules. This is every DCC module in print, all the MCC modules in print. We've got Linkmore over there. But it's just fun to, you know, reminds me of my childhood and going to comic book shops and things like that, spinning the rack. It's a lot of fun. All right, let's see if we can navigate out here without getting cursed. There we go. We have reprinted Sailors in the Starless Sea many times because it's just a popular adventure. We have to let a civilian pass. Go ahead, civilian. <laughs> so uh, the latest printing, actually, actually here, you want, you, there you go. It's just so cool, the art. Here we go. I'll take this side, you take that side. So this is the latest printing, only 9.99. Pick it up while you're here. You want to go by? It's cool, man. You want to say something to the camera? Say hi to your mom. Hello. <laughs> As I mentioned, we're in a live convention hall. Right. Uh, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So let's go so check let's out check the tees. There's one other tee that wasn't on the other side. As some of you know, we have a wizard van here, and that's not an exaggeration or a lie. Make sure you go by our gaming area in the Lucas Oil Stadium, and you can see it, and you can actually game in it if you signed up for one of the events. I rode the wizard van. How did you get here? So you're welcome to pick up one of these shirts. It's a con exclusive here at Gen Con. What else do we have? Jen, what else do we have to talk about? Well, we've got the entire Lankmar line. That's a great including point. Including the greatest thieves in Lankmar. And actually, if you've always seen the Lankmar box sets and wondered what's in them, we have a couple opened up. Again, one of the advantages of checking it out here at the con as opposed to going online, you can actually see all the stuff that's in the original box set as well as the greatest thieves box set. We have all the modules that are in print. Um, we actually opened up a copy of the chain coffin because some people have never seen the spinner inside. So you can actually come here and Spin the spinner on the chain coffin. Check that out. See how it works. Um, we actually have a fresh run of Demon Skull shirts. For those of you who haven't gotten one, you're welcome to come pick one up here at the show. And uh, I think that's most of the new stuff over here, at least. Flip through a Judges Guild. Always fun. Oh, another interesting thing you can do here at the show. Um, we sell leather-bound editions of many of our products. They're limited edition. They usually go with you know, the Kickstarter to the handful of people who are willing to spend that much money on it. If you've always wanted to see what one of those looks like in person, we will have examples here of, like, for example, the leather-bound Trapsylvania or the foil edition of the Grimtooth Ultimate Traps collection, um, which has every one of the original Grimtooth Traps books plus the two other Grimtooth books that were published back in the day. And we also have both the slipcase and the leather edition of Volume 2. Of the Judges Guild books. Good reminder. Good reminder. Yes. yes. Oh, look, oh, it's look. Molon. Molon. Would you like to tell us about this wonderful item you're reading? <laughs> Highly recommend it. Gets any better than that. That's pretty good. Thumbs up from a Chaos Lord. Tournament of Pigs. It's pretty good. Heavy. Yes, it's very heavy box set. Yeah. Many items inside. See all the items that are inside? And it wiggles. <laughs> and you can lick it. <laughs> Okay. Right. Endorsed by Moa. We should put that on like the books or something. Three thumbs up. 
I a two thumbs up. I think <laughs> our third party section has grown even more than last time. I know, it's kind of amazing. And this is only maybe 25% of all the products. Oh, hold on. That's all the way over there. All right. As I mentioned, we're in an act of... Got to have fun with it. Yes, exactly. Well, Joseph, I have to say that the expansion of all of these third-party products is a testament to you and the way that you have grown this community. Thanks. But it's also a testament to the creativity, incredible creativity of the community. Every one of these products represents a product, but also some judge or some player who had an idea and he wanted to take that all the way across the line. Um, it's amazing how many people have taken this, not just to write it, but to get the art done, find a friend to edit, do the layout, print it, and then sell it, and then you know see it in the eyes of customers or the hands of customers and get the feedback. It's really cool. So this whole section is probably 25% of what's available on our website. It's incredible how many amazing creative third-party products are out there. Uh, we picked kind of a selection, and some of the creators are actually here and dropped off copies of the stuff they've done. So that's what you see here. And we just got things that we can't put on the shelf yet because we just got them. Yeah, they're still trickling <laughs> in as people get here. Yeah. We have one item here, which is brand new here at the con. Ziggurat of the Mega Maiden. Oh, two old guys. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> As you can see, we have a Ziggurat theme going on. So pick this one up. It's brand new here at the, the, the con. Um, not even on our website yet. But there's just a tremendous amount of awesome options here. Um, and if you really want the old school stuff, we've got the run of the crawl zines for you. We, we've got a package. Complete run. Yeah. And we've got the reference books. Yeah. The, the one reference of the books. first must-haves for every DCC judge. Yeah. 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 There's just there's so much so good much stuff here. So no matter what your campaign is like, no matter what, what you're working on in your home game, there's something cool here to inspire you. Not just to play, but to inspire you to create your own project, and maybe your items will be up here someday too. Thorn has stuff up here. It's kind of amazing. Yeah. Uh, so does <laughs> Even a key grip. <laughs> a, a few of our uh, no, actually, Thorin's Thorin's workers <coughs> have stuff up here. That's true. Moan and his Mulan alternate identity. I mean. Uh, by Grinstro, yes. By Grinstro, yes. yes. <laughs> Um, that's actually a good reminder. Is, uh, Kickstarter is running Zine Quest right now, which is their sort of periodic uh, 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 encouragement to, for Zine creators to create new items. So there's four active third-party Kickstarters on actually five, including the Dice. Impact Dice is running a Kickstarter right now as well. So search up DCC Dice, and you'll find some cool stuff. Um, but there's four various kinds of Zines live right now. And actually, uh, Son of Thrain is planning to relaunch his or reprint his second printing in, uh, I think he said February next year. Yeah, so you can come here and chat with him about that, hear more about that. So I think that's the basic overview. Um, I wonder if Moan would like to add anything. Moan, any fizing, you know, closing comments? Grease the palms. Grease the palms. Gotcha. Okay. I, I, I speak beast man. Yes. Yeah. Spend lots of money, buy lots of things, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thank Moan. <laughs> so, folks, if you're here, check out the booth. Definitely check out the gaming area, too, in Lucas Oil Stadium. We have the Doom Gong, which now has the plaques for all the winners of the tournaments during the pandemic years. We have, it's so cool. Yeah, and, and what I love about it is it's growing with age. So, year one, obviously, had no winners on it. Now, every year, it gets better as we add more plaques. So, we have that. We have, uh, what else is there? The wizard van. Yeah, the van. The van. You want to tell them about the van? The van's amazing. There's a van. I'm not sure if you heard, but there's a van. <laughs> yes. And you can actually game in the back of the van. Um, we actually have van candy, which is uh, made from real wizard van or wizard beard. Yes. You get that in the booth here. The wizard beard artifact is, is a secret. So, yeah. keep it to yourself. Don't tell anybody. Come by the booth and get some van candy. We have, uh, we have selfies with Cesarcon. Um, you should get a selfie. Yes. Yeah. You should get a selfie. You should also check out the art yeah. over there. We've got the retrospective of DCC art uh, being shown in the art show down there. Yeah, so we actually have our own art panels over in the Lucas Oil Stadium near our gaming area. One of the things about Gumming Games that we really like is that most of the art in our products, almost all in fact, has a physical artifact left over. Like it was actually drawn on paper. It's not just a digital image. <laughs> Even there's physical artifacts of the Demon Lords. <laughs> Um, so a lot of that original art is being displayed in our gaming area, so you can come check it out. Art by Doug Kovacs, Brad McDevitt, Chris Arneson, 
Um, and it's a chance to see real art, not just digital prints. So it's also a chance to potentially join the Goodman Games family because yeah. art director Mark, Matt Hildebrand will be down there from, I believe, 10 to 2 every day. <laughs> Uh, willing to take a look at your portfolio. Yeah. So artists, you can actually put your portfolio in front of somebody who's going to look at it. Yeah. I, I hear that's a big thing. That's a big thing from what I hear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if you're a writer or a designer, our two lead uh, directors of product development, Chris Doyle and Michael Curtis, will be here. They're doing a seminar. I forget which day it is, but it's on our website. It's called uh, How to Write Even Better Adventure Modules. And if you want to check out that seminar, Check Saturday? out Saturday. Saturday. Saturday at six at the Crown Plaza. No, that one is at the Hyatt, Hyatt Studio. Studio One. That's right. Yeah. Uh, there's only one. Some we have an art seminar in uh, Pennsylvania Station B. I think that's Saturday at four. 4 okay. PM? But for Check this one, schedule. yeah. But yeah. for Check this one, schedule. if you're a writer, come to uh, the How to Write Even Better Adventure Modules because both Chris and uh, Mike will be there, and then afterwards, you're welcome to come up and chat with them, see oh, yeah, what they, they think of your manuscript. They don't need dinner. Yeah, they don't need dinner, and you know they really enjoy reading manuscripts on the spot while you stare at them. So <laughs> just bring your manuscript, hand it to them, and ask them to read it. It'll be fine. I, 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 I do not acknowledge this one. <laughs> this one is not endorsed advocate. by Jim Brinkman, but Moad agrees completely. <laughs> All right. He would like another sequel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. All right. <laughs> so so uh, check the website, uh, GenCon.com, and just uh, go to the GenCon Indie tab, hit Events, and search for anything Goodman Games. You will get our entire schedule there. If you happen to be on Facebook, I have actually posted the full schedule with your table numbers haha, <laughs> to the DCC RPG Rocks community. That's awesome. And as a reminder, for those of you who pick up the Quick Start Guide or the $10 Core Rulebook in the Softcover Edition, we run Zoom DCC demos. So um, this is Gen Con. Nights. Yeah, usually yeah. Tuesday nights. Next week might be a bit of a break, but the week after we're actually planning eight to ten sessions of this because a lot of people will pick it up here and want to play. Um, so if you want to actually not just read it but game it, check our website and you can figure out how to log in. Play DCC on Zoom with some other new folks. No pressure. You'll learn the rules, and then we release you to the wild to play on your own. We do have a question on the Twitch comments uh, asking about uh, seminars being streamed. Yes, our intention is to stream the seminars. I only say our intention because sometimes the internet doesn't cooperate with us, but that's the goal. Um, including the What's New with Gummy Games seminar, which I, I don't even remember when that one is. Is that Thursday, Friday? It, it is tomorrow at 6. I'll work on preparing for that. So and that'll be streamed too. We'll talk about new releases, things like that. Yeah. Uh, cool. There, there's a total of five seminars. Like I said, check the website. And also check uh, our website to see which ones are streaming. Yeah, yeah good reminder. And that's actually a great reminder. Over the course of the con, this is the first of our streams, but we'll be streaming pretty much constantly throughout the con some live games, um, some uh, interviews with various creators, just all sorts of stuff streaming live. So um, and we should probably let them go because they have to go down to the studio, uh, the stadium. That's right. Yeah. The stadium studio. That's right. And. Uh, Talk to some folks down there about the van. Yeah, actually stay on the channel. In 10 or 15 minutes, you'll get a live preview of the gaming area. So thanks, everybody. I, anything else we forgot to mention? or Molon, anything else you want to add? You done? You done? Okay. I mean, come by, say hi. Uh, don't, don't be sad if we don't have time to chat extensively. But, you know, we'll be there. Yeah, thanks a lot, everybody. Hope to see you here. Hey, welcome to Gen Con, the, uh, what, the Lucas Oil Stadium, LOS, where we're going to be running all of our games over the course of Gen Con this year. What you remember from the ICC is no longer the case. We want you guys to come down to Lucas Oil Stadium to play all the games. With me tonight is my dear friend and Doom Beard himself. Wayne Snyder, nice to see everybody here. <laughs> Wayne We've got the Doom Gong down here. Yes! We've got Cesar Khan, Shauna, Hugh. Yeah, come, come down to the Lucas Oil Stadium, get your photo taken with Cesar Khan and all your favorite DCC luminaries. Get your photo taken with the one and the only wizard van created by, by my friend, Doombeard. Um, here, come, let's check out the Doom van. We've got a Doom the wizard van here. Wizard van. <laughs> it's, it's calling out to everybody. So come on in. Hang out in the wizard van, visit the various wizards, play some games, roll some dice, get your photo taken. 
please. Uh, we're gonna have an art show. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right. So all all week all weekend long here at Gen Con, we're gonna be running games. We still have drop-in games that we've saved for folks to uh, come and play in the tournament. We'll have the art show here, so you can see Doug Kovacs. Stephen Pogue gonna be here? No. No. Not coming. Uh, all right. Eddie McDevitt. Mr. McDevitt. Maybe be Peter Mullen. Yeah. All the uh, all your favorite DCC artists. Um, come and see their work on display. Come see the Dune Gong. Play some games. There's a tournament. Oh! oh. I almost forgot. forgot. Hold my mic. Oh, yeah. Get it. Harley's running a tournament with uh, several other DCC luminaries, and uh, the prizes are these exciting belts. Yeah. So, come, come drop, drop into the tournament. There's still spaces. We would love to have you play. Um, win a belt or five for your team, and uh, have a great time with giving games. You know, it's, it's wonderful to be back. It's been like three years since we've uh, been at Gen Con running games in the tournament, and we can't wait to play games with everybody.